and welcome back to another episode of Look Past Limits. Today is day 15 of the van build. So if you're new here, we're trying to convert this van into a camper van in 30 days or less. We've got a bit of a van build series on the go just now. We're on day 15, we think we're making some pretty good progress. Yesterday was part one of the electrics. I thought I was going to get it all done yesterday, but it's taken longer than expected. So if you're just catching up now, you can click the link that's somewhere up here and that will take you to yesterday's video to watch part one of the electrics and we'll continue today with part two where hopefully we'll manage to get it all finished and get the battery in and get it connected and see if things are working. So this is how the van's looking after 14 days of building and this is how the floor's looking after one day of doing electrics. It's a bit of a mess, we normally tidy up completely every night but last night I decided just to leave it all in this mess and I'm just going to plonk myself back down in that spot and continue with the electrics now. So I'm just connecting more and more wires, I uh, continued from yesterday connecting as many as I could that were attached to this board on the bottom here. So we've now got all the ones coming out of the uh, main battery switches, the solar charge controller, the solar fuses and also the AC charge controller all running down to the positive and negative battery terminals. Um, so they're sort of finished off for now. And now really it's just a case of taking all the wires that I've already got coming from different points in the van which are all coming out underneath here which come from the lights and the fridge and the pump and whatnot and wiring them all into the fuse box and most of them also have to go through switches. So this panel that you saw earlier is going to go over here. I've just got it flipped on its back just now there and then it will basically close like that as a door. Um, this is going to be the easiest way to wire everything so for instance the, the light up here comes down through the wall it comes out here it comes up and goes through the switch there and then it comes down and into the fuse box there and then into the battery so it's just a case of doing that with all of them lots of crimping all of these connections still need done all of these connections still need done and then once I do that, we can talk through what everything is and what wires we used and whatnot. And whilst I do this, Vendy has been making some last adjustments to the kitchen, uh, doing the water tap connections, putting some magnets on the doors and other bits and pieces to finish off the kitchen here. So I've just had a little bit of a tidy up in here because it was getting a little bit crazy and this is where we're at at the moment. So most of the 12 volt wiring is done now. As you can see we've still got the cables hanging out here that are coming down from the solar panel. They still need to go in there but apart from that, that's done, that's done, that's more or less done apart from this one. Um, this is done, I've obviously still got the rest of the 230 or 240 depending on where you are to do um, and I've ran all the cables back up here and into all the switches so this is going to be the switches for the lights uh, we're going to have roof lights, the light above the um, on the bottom of the lockers there and then this one will be the light that's going to be around the bottom of the bed that's what these cables are coming out here for um, here we're going to have a water pump switch and then the um, sockets and the voltmeter. This is still to be wired so I just need to poke a hole in here and pop that through and wire it into the back of the socket there and then that's a diesel heater control. So that's all done and pretty neat there. It comes down here and comes along and you can probably see underneath it's quite neat under there as well and then these are just the cables that come down to go onto the battery terminals obviously. The heaters are all wired in there as well. This socket here is just wired the same way that you would wire a normal socket in the house. The only difference being with the 230 stuff we're using the copper strand wire rather than 
in the house you would probably have solid copper so you can just strip the end and poke it straight into the um, terminals on here but with this you want to be using these little guys I don't actually know the name in English, I only know the Czech name for them um, but crimp them onto the end and then you've got a solid connection to the terminal so yeah that's the um, that's the plug for this so basically when you plug in the hookup on the outside of the van the power will come in here it'll go through the test and the um, breakers in here and then the power from here comes out and goes one circuit going to this which just runs this and the other circuit goes up to here which will be a socket that you can use any normal household appliances which will be up here so we're getting there I just need to finish wiring this and tidy up some bits and pieces and then we can get some fuses in and bring the battery out So I've got the 230 fuse box wired up now um, and as I said earlier that's just feeding that socket here and the socket that's on the back of here. This socket I'm not able to test at the moment because if I can turn this around I can't fit these wires into this. I need to get a different one of these to be able to test this but apart from that this panel's good to go. Everything else on the back of here is wired and everything else on here pretty much is wired. I've put the last of the solar cables in there and put the box cover on. I've put the battery in place and made a mount for it on each side so it's secured in on these sides with aluminium L profile thing and this side has got the stand here for the box so and it's got a strap which is bolted through the floor and onto the back wall there so the battery's not going anywhere the cables are all connected to the battery if you can see that in there and so we think we are ready to switch this on and try it and see if it works so, moment of truth, I'm going to switch this on and see if I can try and do that without blowing myself up. So we'll start with the fuse here on the solar which links the charge controller to the battery. So if we switch that on, then we should get something come up on the display. And we do. So it's not registering that there's anything coming down from the panels at the moment because the panel breakers are still off but we do have a connection between here and the battery so that's good if we put the breakers here on this will activate the panel to the charge controller so I don't know how much of this display you can see on here but it's now showing that we're getting charge from the panels to the battery and at the moment we're getting 13.3 volts so we're charging happy days so we can try switching on the 12 volt and that seems good this red light is just the heater I've not put the fuse in the heater uh, and the red light just shows that there is a load on here but there's no fuse in it or the fuse is blown the reason that we've not put the fuse in the heater is because we don't have any diesel for the tank so we're going to get some diesel tomorrow uh, so we can't actually try the heater until we've got that but we can go through everything else so we've got the fuses in here and we've got the main big fuse um, so up here we've got the diesel heater controller so we can't do anything with that still need to wire this um, we've got 13.5 volts 13.7 volts now shown on the voltmeter uh, this is switching on and off uh, so we can try something in that but the fact that it's lit up will suggest that that will be charging fine and then we can try the light switches Ta-da!
Ta da! <laughs> And the final switch is for the one that's going to be down here around the bed, so we can't do that yet either because that's not wired onto anything. Um, the water pump. This is a switch for the water pump, so we can activate that and you can hear the pump buzz a little bit. And then Vendy can try the tap. Hallelujah. Running water, baby. Running water. What about the fridge? Fridge? Go for it. Try the fridge. Hello. Came on. You could hear it buzzing. You could. <laughs> the compressor's just in there. You can hear the compressor buzzing. So, that seems to be a success. Not that we were expecting anything different, were we? <laughs> no. Well done. <laughs> well done, you. So, happy days. So tomorrow we can try the heater. Uh, but that's great that apart from that, everything seems to be working. Um, and then the 240 volt system or 230 system, we can try tomorrow as well. If I manage to get a different backing for that plug, then we can wire that up and try that. Um, We've got a hookup adapter for the outside that we can then just plug it in here. Uh, so that's that's the plan. But yeah, that's awesome. I'm chuffed that that's all working well. It's been a long two days of crimping and wiring and running cables, but I think now it looks pretty tidy. We can close these. You're not going to see this obviously anyway because the bed's going to be covering it but I think when you open this up it looks quite neat everything's tucked away in there there's not too many wires showing and this all looks pretty neat the cushion cover for the bed's going to sit about here anyway so that should look good what do you think perfect quite happy to have some electricity oh very happy <laughs> so do you want to show everyone your handiwork that you've been doing whilst I've been wiring I just painted the wheels so now they look a bit different. Fresh wheels now as well. I just realised that after putting the electrics together there I didn't really talk through how the system all works in the end. I wanted to kind of do a talk through of what everything was. Hopefully you've kind of gathered that from the last two videos from yesterday and today. It is a pretty simple system, there's not much to it, but if there's anything at all that you're wondering how it works or how you can do it or how you can adapt it to work with your electrics, just comment down below and we'll try and get back to everyone. Um, yeah, we're not experts, but we should be able to answer most questions we think. So other than that, so, so other than that, <laughs> thanks very much for watching. Give us a like and subscribe to see the other videos coming up soon. And see you tomorrow. See you then. Cheers, guys.